What's up guys, today on Adam Off-Road, we've got a ton of work to do on this off-road trailer build part two. I'm hoping by the end of this video, I'll be able to have a trailer ready to hit the trail. I just got my welder switched over from flux cord to gas wire. Uh, we no longer need the flux cord wire for deep penetration, uh, structural welds. The rest of this stuff that we're going to be welding, tacking together this frame for the RTT could easily be done with uh, the gas. And it's uh, just a, a lot less prep when, you know, welding and, and getting everything in the fit up and, and set up ready to go. So uh, let's uh, build this little frame I got going here and get it installed over there on the Jeep uh, trailer, Jeep trailer. I guess I'm gonna call, start calling that trailer the Jeep trailer. ahead and set the frame on the trailer and then we'll get to working on the hinge that I'm going to be using to hinge up the frame up and down. So let's go ahead and set this on. All right so I got this inch and a quarter piano hinge. I'm going to be using that for the lift gate and basically what um, I do, I'm going to do is I'm going to take the straight edge and I'm gonna scribe all the way down, right in the center where I want all of my holes. So I think this hinge will be strong enough and it will definitely um, be welded on to the trailer and then strong enough to hold that thing in place. All right, so I've got my piano hinge here, basically set up like this and it's clamped up to underneath this, the angle iron of the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this in place. So every hole that we drilled out on the bottom, I'm gonna do a plug weld. So the piano hinge is basically going to be welded to the trailer. And then these holes, I will bolt the frame to the hinge with some quarter 20 bolts. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to install the ball mounts for the gas struts on the deck lid. And essentially um, what I've done is uh, made some of these quarter inch by inch and a half flat stock brackets. And basically they're gonna beef up the mounting spot for the ball mount on the gas strut. Now the manufacturer of the gas struts, they require that you bolt the ball mounts at least one third of the area up of the gate or the door or in my case this deck lid uh, about one third up that's where you, that's the magic number to basically mount the ball ball mount and so this is a 60 inch length frame i went up 20 inches made my mark made my hole oversized hole so the threads on the back end of the ball mount will essentially just slip right in there and then i'll clamp and get these welded in and we'll have some really heavy duty ball mounts So for this trailer build, we're going to be using two 28 inch in length, 200 pound strength gas struts. We've already got the first end of the gas strut installed on the deck lid part. And now we're going to be working on getting the second end, the other end for the trailer side. And right now I'm just figuring out where the best placement is for the trailer side ball mount. So the manufacturer recommends for best placement of that second ball joint is to basically lift the deck lid up to the desired height you want it to be completely open go ahead and prop it up there safely and then bring the second end of the gas strut ball mount to the trailer side of the frame make your marks drill your holes we're going to be using a 
eight millimeter tap to thread in the ball joint. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate all the measurements for this side over to the other side and then snap the new gas struts in to the newly mounted ball joints. Gas struts installed on the frame. It's, it takes a lot. I gotta get the RTT on here, but it takes a lot to get this thing closed. But once it's closed, it's, it doesn't really take much to hold the frame down. But in order to hold the frame down, I want to be able to have this storage space lockable. I went ahead and took some three by three flat stock and pre-drilled some holes. We're gonna install some latches. I'm gonna weld this stock to the trailer right here and make two, two welds. And then we'll go ahead and bolt in uh, this style latch. I think they're uh, pretty solid latches and they're gonna go right here and they're gonna bolt to that piece of flat stock that we're gonna weld to the trailer side. Now for the frame side, the latches come with these hooks and I'll just do some fillet welds in the holes and we'll just basically fill in those holes and install the hook like so on the frame side. And that's gonna be plenty to secure the frame to the trailer. And I'm gonna do both sides and I'll show you what it looks like after after that. But uh, yeah, let's get the flat stock burned in and um, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Let's get to work. Here's how the latches turned out. We've got the stock welded with the pre-drilled holes. I picked up these latches, pretty inexpensive, about 15 bucks on Amazon. And then those bolted up really nice to the piece of flat stock. Got everything painted up and got them nicely bolted in. And this is what the other side looks like. So as I was working on these latches, I also was working on the back end of the trailer, welding up some leveling jack mounts. Now I've had these jacks for a while. I figured I'd just repurpose them for this purpose and basically they're going to add some more uh, support when the rtt is open or they can also be dual purpose you know if i need to jack up one side of the trailer on the trail or something re replace a tire whatever the purpose is, is. but uh, i thought they came out pretty cool you know you could buy these little kits that they weld on the jack and then they accept this piece that you weld onto the trailer and they also have this really cool chain and pin style thing and they just basically attach to the the mount like this and then you could slip the chain through and pin it to the trailer so that was pretty cool little uh, add-on had to cut some footing for more supports but uh, yeah I think that worked out pretty cool and I like the way it's looking so these will definitely go into a tongue box that we're about to install as well here's the tongue box Picked this up from Harbor Freight for about a hundred bucks. I think it mounted out pretty cool. Got it nice and centered on the tongue. And i uh, just kind of share with you how I mounted it. Essentially, uh, it's got four bolts, uh, two on the tongue, two on those angled supports. And I'm just using fender washer with some grade eight uh, quarter 20 bolts. I went ahead and drilled the holes and then tapped them for quarter 20 threads and i'll show you what's what it looks like underneath uh, they're drilled and tapped into the tongue and then as well as the angle supports and then i'll just have to tighten these nuts up for just added security but uh yeah that's how it turned out on the bottom and the leveling jacks for the rear once they're completely collapsed they should fit nicely in that box so yeah, I might have to strap these in or something, but uh, I think they'll work in here for now. All right, so we have the RTT, thanks to my wife. We've taken it off the green Jeep and it's now on the trailer. So I wanted to share with you a couple things about how it mounted 
and that talk about that nut. So if you come in here, you can see that the RTT basically strapped or mounted to the one inch crossbars very nicely. You got it all centered on the deck lid. Now, if you could see, there is the body of the gas strut. It's down at a slope. It's kind of how you want your gas struts mounted. There's a seal here and that seal is supposed to keep everything lubricated. So this is the way you want to mount your gas struts. Now, as I was saying earlier in the video, we went with inch and a half tubing for the frame and then the one inch heavier wall crossbars that are offset to the inch and a half tubing. That way the crossbars don't hit the body of the strut. So um, it's been designed this way and the ball mounts are fixed and that's kind of how I have the nut. So I threaded in the ball mount and then we also put a safety nut on the backside. But I'm very happy with the way this thing is opening and closing. I'll show you guys all about that right now. Let's talk about that. All right, guys, I am ready to finally open up this deck lid with the RTT mounted and see if those gas struts can handle the weight. So let's go ahead and disconnect these latches and go ahead and lift it up. Very, very cool. Real nice and steady going up. Let's see how it shuts. Still a little bit tough to shut, but like right when the deck lid gets to about right here, it's a lot easier. And then the, of course the weight of the RTT holds it down. And then of course we have the safety latches to lock it up. So yeah, I'm super thrilled with the way this is coming out. This is gonna be nice for when we are camping. Lots of storage space. I've been kicking around some ideas on different uh, Pelican or Plano boxes, some totes to hold all of our gear for when we're doing long distance trips. And I've actually got some traction boards here uh, that I wanna mount on the side here. And I've been kicking around some ideas like maybe adding some lighting or something, but that's gonna be further down the road. But uh, yeah, I'm super impressed with the, the way the frame and everything has come together. These gas struts are a little bit too much too strong for this deck lid, but I figure since we're gonna be using this in the cold temperature too, um, the gas struts are known to not be as strong, um, you know, during the summer and things like that. So uh, definitely very happy with the outcome. All right, so I've had these x tracks for a while and I haven't really come up with a place to install them. I think right here is gonna be perfect and it'll take up some space that uh, I can't really fill. So basically, Expo sends you the hardware kit. It looks like this, and it's got some washers, some plastic, uh, like a plastic template. And then I just bolted it to the expanded metal here. I'm gonna have to cut these off, but that's essentially what it's gonna look like on this side. But uh, I just have these knobs basically holding it up. You have to get kind of creative, but I think this is gonna work out for our tracks. And then I'll just go ahead and take these two knobs and put them up. So essentially, I'll just screw them to the all thread and those are solid those are really secure and they're not going to go anywhere i figured they'll be, have more of a use here um, especially if we start doing long distance trips always good to have a set of tracks on hand so i think that's going to be perfect also got these nice little totes i've already been using them for camping but uh, i figured I, i'd buy a couple more for storage in the back of the trailer now the tailgate it just slips right here through the channel and it's got some eye bolts here and here and essentially you could set these lynch pins in here like so and that holds the gate in place and as well as the gate can't be removed if this is locked so I'll set this down and essentially when the trailer is locked, you can't remove the linch pin. So there's no way to un remove the tailgate unless the deck lid is unlocked and up. So I got that as like another barrier for safety or as um, just for more, more of a theft idea in case this thing is parked somewhere or we leave it behind and it's locked up. No one can't really, it's, it'd be a lot harder for people to get in here and take things. 
but the trailer is definitely starting to take shape and I am super excited to get this on the trail. I think our first maiden voyage is going to be in Pismo, California. We're going to be taking it to do some beach camping and wheeling. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that video coming soon and the one about the fenders. Definitely going to be installing some really rad fenders for this off-road trailer. So if you guys liked so how the build is going so far, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Uh, definitely consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good day. Peace out.